So hepatitis C has become a really important problem in U.S. health as well as worldwide uh, for two reasons. One, because of the aging of the baby boomer population. We think that two out of every three people with hepatitis C in the United States is over the age of 45, so really concentrated in that baby boomer population. So as they age, uh, the hepatitis C has had time to do damage to the liver, and now we're really starting to see some of the end-stage complications of hepatitis C many times in people who never knew they had hepatitis C at all. Um, so we think we really have underdiagnosed hepatitis C in a lot of these patients. When you add in HIV, uh, which there is a fair amount of HIV and hepatitis C co-infection due to shared routes of transmission, so both injection drug use and uh, sexual transmission through men having sex with men, um, we know that HIV and hepatitis C really can have a deadly synergy together. HIV allows hepatitis C to progress more quickly. Patients have higher viral loads. Um, and because we've done so well at controlling the opportunistic infections that complicate HIV, with really potent antiretroviral therapy, now we've seen hepatitis C and other viral hepatitis emerging as really a leading cause of death and morbidity in the HIV-infected population. Um, I think it also creates a real opportunity, though, because hepatitis C, unlike HIV at this point in time, can be cured um, with therapies. So if we can diagnose people and get them to care before they've sustained really serious liver damage, this is something that we can, we can address, treat, and in many cases, cure.